Incoming transmission standby, welcome to the Nod News Network. The agency, which outsources visa processing, said services had been suspended for operational reasons. The Indian Visa Application Centre in Canada has announced an indefinite suspension of services for Canadian citizens citing operational reasons for the decision. The move comes amid growing diplomatic tensions between the two countries, sparked by allegations of India's involvement in the murder of a Sikh separatist. The LS International, the private company that processes Indian visa applications in Canada, posted a notice on its website. Important announcement from the Indian delegation. Due to operational reasons, effective September 21, 2023, Thursday, visa services to India have been suspended until further notice, it said. India's Ministry of External Affairs, MEA, has not issued any official notification regarding the suspension of visa services and the Indian High Commission at Ottawa could not be reached at the time of writing on Thursday. The suspension, which effectively prevents Canadians from applying for Indian visas, follows the advisory issued by the MEA on Wednesday asking Indian nationals and Indian students in Canada to exercise caution due to the accused's activities. Anti-India charges and politically condoned hate crimes. Indians make up more than 40% of all international students in Canada. For its part, the Canadian High Commission in India also announced that it would temporarily adjust the presence of staff in the country following allegations of a security threat to diplomats. Amid today's rising tensions, we are taking measures to ensure the safety of our diplomats. With several diplomats having received threats on various social media platforms, Canada's Ministry of Foreign Affairs is currently assessing its workforce in India. Therefore, and out of an abundance of caution, we have decided to temporarily adjust the presence of personnel in India, the diplomatic mission told news agency ANI in a statement on Thursday. The statement added that the High Commission and all consulates in India are open and operational and continue to serve their customers. Canada has also sought additional security around its missions, including the High Commission in New Delhi and consulates in Mumbai, Chandigarh and Bengaluru. Similarly, India has asked for increased security at the High Commission in Ottawa and the consulates in Toronto and Vancouver. India's demand for increased security comes after Sikhs for Justice, SFJ, an organization banned by the Indian government in 2019, threatened to shut down Indian missions, calling their houses of terror. In a video circulating on social media, SFJ's legal advisor Gopatwant Pannan, who is considered a terrorist in India, threatened Indian Hindus and asked them to leave Canada. Indian authorities have requested Pannan's extradition. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau sparked a diplomatic row on Monday after he told Parliament that India was involved in the assassination of Indian Sikh separatist leader Hardeep Singh Nija in June. Now, the Trudeau government has not revealed any evidence to substantiate the allegations but has insisted they are credible. India has strongly denied the allegations. This has been the Nod News Network, transmission complete.